Hello everybody and welcome to the Connect Shapes demo from Visio Guy. Here we want to show you how to actually run the demo that accompanies the article. And of course the first step is to open the Connect Shapes in order drawing. So we'll go ahead and do that. And right away you can see that we've got a security warning at the top that says this document has Visual Basic for Applications or VBA macros stored behind it. and Visio wants to make sure that you are okay with running them. Now we trust everything from the Visio Guy website, of course, so we're more than happy to allow that, which we'll do right now. But if you're not so sure about letting macros run on your machine, you're more than welcome to hit Alt plus F11 and go straight to the Visual Basic project where you can look at the code yourself and make sure that nothing funny is going to happen when you click one of the buttons. So we'll enable this content, Visio reopens the drawing, and we're ready to go. Now. What this demo does is it allows you to drop shapes onto a page. The shapes prompt you for an index number or a step number. And once you have these shapes all numbered up, we've got one, two, three, then you can push a button and connect the bubbles, just like that. And the point of the whole demo is for you to look at the code behind this document and see how someone goes about connecting shapes in order based on some property using the Visio automation model. Problem is, it's tedious to drop shapes one at a time and set different index numbers. So what I've done is added button number one here that says add step bubbles. And what that does is it randomly places shapes around the page sets their indexes, sets the text such that they say bubble in any of several foreign languages. You can say bobble here, and boule, and bubla, and bubla. And then we can, again, click the Connect Step Bubbles button. That's all there is to it, but I'm sure this is going to be a lot easier for you to use than manually dropping shapes, and if you need to show this to any colleagues or friends or other interested parties, it'll be a lot easier for you to demonstrate this as well if you need to prove the capabilities of Visio for anybody. So thanks for watching the demo. I hope you found it useful, and we'll see you over on the website at Visio Guy.